Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see how to install and configure Docker on Red Hat or CentOS Linux 8 or 7. Docker is an open source lightweight virtualization tool which runs at top of the operating system level. It allows the users to create, run and deploy applications which is encapsulated into small containers. This type of Linux containers are proven to be fast, portable and very secure. The processes that run on the Docker container are always isolated from the main host. Now we can see how to install and configure Docker on CentOS or Red Hat Linux 7 or 8. First we can install the mutils package to enable the Docker stable repository. So give yum install yum iPhone utils now give us to download and install the package now the mutil package is installed now we can add the repository using the mconfig manager command now the repository is successfully added now we can install docker using the m install command m install docker hyphen ce space docker hyphen ce hyphen cli now the docker installation is completed now we can start the docker service using the systemctl command systemctl start docker now the service is started now we can check the status of the service now it is running now we can enable the docker service to start at boot systemctl enable docker now the installation is completed now we can run a container test image to verify whether the docker works properly we can use the docker run hello world now the docker is pulling from the public repository it is not available locally the this message shows that the installation appears to be to be working correctly the message the docker took the following steps to pull the hello world image from docker hub now we can see the basic commands that we can use in docker docker info which will provide you the system wide information so next command is docker version which will show you the docker version you can see the installed version is 19.03.13 and the docker engine version is 18.09.1 to get the list of all available commands you can just run docker and it will list all the commands and you can also get the options for each command using the docker command help which will show you the available options for the specific command next we can see how to download a docker image first we can search the images available docker search ubuntu now we can see the available images from the docker hub the docker hub provides you the lot of free images from its repositories so now we can pull the ubuntu image using the docker pull command docker pull and the image name you can see the name here it's ubuntu and now give enter now it is downloading the docker image now the image is successfully pulled now we can list the available images in this host machine use the docker images command to list all the images you can see the two images available which is ubuntu and hello world next we can see how to run the docker container you can use the docker run on the image name ubuntu and you can run the commands I'm going to run the cat ttc issue command. Now you can see the Ubuntu version that is available in that image. You can use the ps-l command to list the running and stopped containers. Now it is listed. Now to start the docker container you can use the docker start and the container id you can give to start the container. Now the container is started and if you want to stop the container you can use the docker stop and the container id to stop it now we can see how to add the name to the docker container you can use the docker run iphone iphone name option 
and give name for the container I'm going to give it as Ubuntu 20 and the image name space you can execute the command then after using the then after setting the name you can start it using the which you have set I'm going to start it now and to check the stats use the docker stats command and here you can see all the usage of that container next we can see how to run an interactive session into a container you can use the docker run iphone it space the image name space the container name space bash now we can see we have logged in into the container and now we can just run some commands you can see the ubuntu kernel version ubuntu os version and after after accessing it you can exit from it using the exit command now we are back to the host machine and if you want to reconnect to the running container you can use the docker attach command docker attach space the container id and if you want to kill the running container from the host you can use the docker kill command docker kill and the container id so in this video we saw how to install and configure docker on centos or red hat linux 8 or 7 we can see more about the docker containers in the coming videos thanks for watching this video post your comments and suggestions please share and subscribe to my channel press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos you can follow me on this instagram id and facebook page for any queries you can reach me on this skype id